Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new video where today I've got not one, not two, but three awesome mods that you can add in to your Minecraft world. Now it's been a hot minute since I uploaded another Minecraft mod review. Which is why I'm showing you three really small, really cool mods in today's video. But without further ado, let us get in to today's mod review. Okie dokie, on to our first mod of today's video, the Rain Glows mod. I think in the intro I said rainbow, but overlooking the mod page, it's actually called Rain Glow. Anyway, this mod implements a bunch of colorful glow squids, like who? Who doesn't want this? It's absolutely amazing. They add no actual functional additions into the game, purely vanity. And a cool thing about this mod is it has no dependencies. So this mod will work as soon as you drop it into the mods folder. It is very lightweight and removable. So say you don't want your squids to look like the snazziest things alive. It's okay. You can just remove the mod from your mod folder and it won't corrupt any files. So it is an awesome mod and I'm getting absolutely pushed around by this salmon over here. This uh, mod also adds in 10 different unique colors that your glow squids can be. And if you're feeling extra fancy, you can go into the mods folder and find a configuration file, which includes pride modes, rainbow modes, and monochrome modes, and potentially more as the mod may update and, you know, develop. So I really hope you enjoy this mod. Like, it is really small, really short, but I think, come on, who doesn't love this? And I think you should all have this added into your Minecraft worlds. So as with all the mods in today's video, this will be linked in the description below, as well as, you know, telling you guys more information about the mod, which I may not have talked about in the mod review. But anyway, on to our next mod of today's video. Alrighty, everyone. So, on to our second mod of today's video, where you join me round our beautiful campfire to show off today's survival mod, which basically revamps how you would spend your XP. So, basically, this is kind of two mods in one. So, let me explain. The first mod, which is the main skills mod, is actually a mod called Levels, with a Z at the end. Now, the Jobs mod, which is the main mod I'm going to be reviewing today, is an add-on to the Levels mod. So you will need to download the Levels mod and then download the Jobs. But don't worry, it's really simple, and I'll add a link to both and an in-depth description into what each mod does in the description below. So, again, if you want to download any of today's mods, go in the description. Basically, what this mod implements is a new way to basically spend your XP. So instead of enchanting gear, you can make yourself look like Dwayne Rock himself if you level up strength. But as you can see, I actually start off with three hearts, which is, yeah, it's not great. <laughs> it's not great. But if we go over to skills here, you can level this up 20 times and that goes for all of them so here we have health we have strength we have agility defense stamina luck archery trade smithing mining farming and alchemy so of course you can collect this xp from doing jobs and also normally using xp grinders but jobs are where you want to be leveling up the xp primarily so the first job we've got here today is the lumberjack job. Now to equip the job, all you have to do is click it, uh, click it, there you go. <laughs> and it will say employ the job at lumberjack. So now you can move out with your family or without your family since you're moving out cause you have yourself a job, alrighty. And you can pay for a wooden house maybe. Um, so yeah, basically, you just chop down trees for this one. Really simple. Then, of course, you've got your miner, you've got your farming, you've got your warrior, you've got your builder, you've got your smither, you've got your fisher, and your brewer. So, by doing each one of these tasks, I'm pretty sure what you know, you know, each task implements, but 
chop down trees for a lumberjack job, mine blocks for the miner job, etc, etc, etc. Clues in the name. Right, so once you level up your job, you'll be able to use better tools. So yeah, you won't be able to use diamond tools when you start off the game. You will have to upgrade your jobs and your levels, which I think is cool. And I think this will work really well in certain mod packs, such as maybe RL Craft or a challenge mod pack, you know? But yeah, that is pretty much all this mod has to offer. And you can uh, click on skill sprites for more info and stuff. Um, so yeah, this will show you what level you need to be to use certain weapons and you know, it tells you what um, abilities you gain. So yeah, all in all, a really cool mod and I think this could work well in a nice RPG mod pack. Alrighty, so we're back in the lab and we are covering today's final mod. I know, it's pretty sad, but it's okay because this mod is absolutely fabulous and you'll see what I mean. So here we've got the effective crystals mod, which adds in a bunch of new items called crystal shards. Now you get these in different colors, which you can craft into different colored lamps, which look absolutely fabulous if I do say so myself. So a bit of information about where you find each of these crystals. So in Minecraft, you have three main rare biomes. This includes the jungle bamboo biome or the bamboo jungle biome. <laughs> then you've got the mushroom biome, which all of you will know if you've played the game for ages because it's an OG biome. And lastly, you've got the badlands biome or like the mesa biome. Now, underneath each of these biomes, you can find clusters of each of these crystals. Now, when you collect them, they will actually pop into your inventory. Now, I don't know if you need Silk Touch or not, but I think it'd be really cool if I don't tell you whether you need Silk Touch or not, because part of making these mods cool is the exploration factor. So, if you like this mod, go out there yourself and use pickaxes and find out how you collect these crystals. Anyway, when you do eventually collect the crystals, you will get um, crystal shards, of course. Now, you can actually consume these crystal shards to give you certain perks. So, the blue one gives you water breathing. When you eat the red one, it gives you strength, which is pretty cool. For a short period of time only, you got to remember. Um, the orange one gives you resistance, which is also amazing. The green one gives you jump boost, which is also amazing. And the purple one gives you glowing, which is interesting. Not quite amazing, but interesting. So together, you know, if you go into a boss fight or a dungeon or a stronghold, Yo, you're gonna want some crystals, you know, to nom on before you go into a fight, which I think is really cool. I like that concept. But onto the main thing that this mod adds, which is cool decoration lanterns, which look absolutely amazing. So onto the first one, we have the blue decoration lantern, which I don't actually have the item for in the chest. Let me go ahead and fix that real quick. Okay, there we go. Now I have the decoration lanterns in each of the chests, but anyway. The crafting recipe for the blue crystal lamp is as such. So you put iron nuggets surrounding the blue crystal shards going horizontally down the middle. I don't think the word's horizontally. Vertically, that's it. Vertically down the middle. And this crafting recipe is the exact same for each one of the lamps. It's just the different color crystal changes, you know, the crystal shard. Um, so anyway, you get yourself the crystal lamps. Now, if we go ahead and grab all of the crystal lamps, as you can see, the crafting recipe is literally the same. There we go. Um, we can actually head on over to our little designated cave um, experimentation area, and we can place these bad boys down. So, um, you don't actually need redstone, which is what I prior thought, but look at them. They look beautiful. Why would you not want to have these in your world? Like, imagine the building, the, the building opportunities that you get with this. Absolutely amazing. So yeah, it's just a cool light source block that literally works the same as glowstone. It just looks way better in my opinion. Like, look at this, man. Look at this. It looks freaking awesome. So I think that brings us to the end of the video. So if you have watched this far in the video, 
thank you so much, man. You're an absolute legend, man or woman. I don't care. I don't mind. You're all amazing. Alrighty. So yeah, thank you so much for watching today's video. I will be back hopefully next week with another mod review video. Or if I'm feeling good and this video does well, let's say 10 likes, we will make another one very, very soon on a slightly bigger mod, which will take up the whole length of the video. But yeah, thank you so much all for watching this video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more of this type of content, and especially the comments, you know? I love reading comments. I heart every single comment I read. So, you know, if you do just want to drop in, have a chat, or you want to tell me what I can improve on, please do, as I'm open to all criticisms. Anyway, I will leave you be, and uh, yeah, see you in the next video. Bye-bye!